Hello and welcome to BMOJet.com. My name is Matthew Jackson and today I am presenting the RM6 gas insulated ring main unit from Schneider Electric. And we have some description specification text as you would find as standard uh, listing the features in, in which this object works within. We've got some links, some related data, classification information of course very important and the region in which this is available in. So do make sure that this object is available to be installed in the country that you are working with. Within. So let's click on download and as you can see we've got a number of files which are available to download and we have separated these by the usage in which they are. So I'm just going to click on uh, this one here which is a D transformer feeder a 200 app circuit breaker and I'm going to download this into my model and this downloads now directly within the application. Uh, and I'm working Revit 2015 at the moment, so this is now upgrading the object. Now what happens is, is this now appears on the end of my cursor. So let's zoom into a room. Um, this isn't specifically the plant room, but uh, let's just place it within the model. And here we have, so if I press spacebar, I can rotate this to an orientation which will suit uh, my knees. So let's just place this in the middle of the room. I press escape now otherwise it would like to place it again and let's zoom in a little bit more so you can see here it's now placed and if I click on this uh, we've actually got a number of different types within every single download that is available so I can click on these and this will now adjust it will adjust the size and it will adjust the deliverable um, that I'm going to create so let's have a look at this as you can see all of the objects have a clearance zone uh, which is a requirement um, when placing these objects and as you can see we've got a little bit of messaging on the top. Uh, again just reminding everybody do contact Schneider Electric for detailed system configurations uh, for the internal workings. Uh, these are customizable but if you want detailed uh, please do let us know. If you don't want to see that text you can have the little instance parameter here click that box uh, on that text click apply will disappear. Uh, we've got a number of different constructions here so we've got different options for uh, downward exhaust and rear exhaust so if I untick this um, rear exhaust will now click and we've got different types of cable entry and different types of rated voltage here as well and if we go into edit type we've also got a number of different sets of information uh, regarding the electrical uh, delivery and of course all the BIM object data uh, from BIMobject.com has also been copied in. Um, I can place another one of these next to them so if I click component again let's click a smaller one and press spacebar again and we'll place it next to it as well and these all have different sizes uh, which are available. As you can see on the front we've got um, some symbol information here and if I look at this in plan, if I go to floor 3 of my plan um, and I zoom over to the room in which I'm working in, which is down here, uh, you can see we also show the symbols, uh, the electrical symbols in which this is working within. Now I'm currently sitting at 1 to 100 uh, so let's sit at 1 to 50 with slightly better symbols here. So we have symbols uh, involved as well. So if I click back into my 3D view, uh, you can see that all of these are uh, available on bimobject.com. Have a go at downloading them. Um, remember to use the BIMobject application. I can go back and find out more information about these objects. Uh, I hope you enjoy using BIMobject and Schneider Electric and have a good day.